Yeah, good. I mean, I've been back for a while now. Um, obviously, out for a lot longer than I expected, and it's it's been a long road. But I mean, with the help of AD and extra work with like Matty Taylor and that, um, I feel good. And I mean, obviously, everyone wants to play, but I'm just happy to be back, being able to kick a ball because. Ask any footballer being out for what five, six months, it's not nice and you spend a lot of time by yourself. I mean, running around the training ground like seven times and it can get to you. So yeah, I'm just happy to be back on even the training pitch and be involved when I can be. Can you talk us through your injury and uh, the, the, what sort of happened? Mm. Well, it started against the Plymouth game and that um Checker Trade, Trade um, trophy. And I felt my growing go in a pass in the first half and I just kind of played for adrenaline and um, for the rest of the week I felt my groin because I'd just come back from a different injury and I felt my groin and I didn't think it was going to be great but because I'd got in the team I just thought oh, we'll see it out <laughs> um, against Carlisle in a warm up same thing I felt it and I remember playing a ball into Jaden quite early on and I felt it tear a bit tried to carry on and then I just thought I wasn't going to help the team at all so you played came, most of the first half didn't yeah, you? yeah played most of the first half um came off and got it scammed on the Monday and yeah it came back that it was a grade two which is between eight and twelve weeks but there was setbacks with the injury that I'd feel it or there'd be other things other problems underlying problems that yeah I mean with AD I worked tirelessly and like I said it took longer than we wanted, but I'm there now. So I feel better than I did before I got injured. I mean, I think all the niggles that I have, have kind of cleared up. So yeah, that's all. Because you started the season, you played a fair number of games, didn't you? So how frustrating was it to pick up the injury? And it's quite a large chunk. Yeah, I mean, last year wasn't the best year for me personally, and I felt like I'd come or joined the Exeter feeling more a part of it and playing better. I was playing with and like a freedom and it was, was frustrating to pick up an injury which I felt probably could have been prevented um, so yeah it, it was very frustrating but like I say uh, these things happen for one reason or another which I don't know but um, yeah I mean I'm just working on not getting injured again I mean I'll be doing work over the summer but every day just doing little bits in the cafeteria gym thing and yeah, just trying to stay injury free. So it's all part of the learning experience as well, isn't it? Yeah. Through sort of things like that. Yeah, and I mean, I've spoke with Tiz about it as well. Like being able to keep yourself match fit when you're not playing, if you're not playing, because he says to everyone that you will get in the team at some point, and it's just about when you play, keeping your shirt. And I mean, like I say, I was playing well when I was playing, but the injury let me down, and it's something that. I will take into, oh, m moving forward, I'll learn from it and I'll make sure I'm keeping on top of these things. And what have you made of the season? What have you done for, for a, a great part of it? Have you made of the campaign? I mean, well, yeah, we're fourth at the moment and at the beginning of the season we said that we wanted automatic promotion. Um, last year the disappointment of Wembley and we did come back and say if Last year was only a um, waste of time if we didn't get promoted this year. So, I mean, going into the last what, five games, we'd be happy, happier being a third. But the boys, we all believe that like, we can nick that third place. So we just need to apply the pressure to teams in front of us. And you've made your return now. It's just a case of getting as many minutes as possible. Yeah. Get the chance when it comes. Yeah, I mean, it has been nice. And like I said, I just want to help the team. and. I haven't yet. Um, I haven't yet made a return to SJP, which I am waiting for. I've been waiting for that for a long time. But um, yeah, I've been playing here and there, just like everyone does, trying to help the team. But as a personal note, yeah, you want to play. But whatever's best for the team, I just want the team to win, and we deserve to. It's a good group of boys, good staff, and I think the team and the club deserve to be in League One. It was a really good result against Cambridge, of course you came on as well. Yeah. What was the uh, atmosphere like on the coach on the way back? Um, 
Of course, I must say, well, we were playing cards on the way back and I lost and I had to buy those sweets for the table, so <laughs> it wasn't great for me. But yeah, the atmosphere in the change room, I mean, players like Jake Taylor that I felt watching on from the side that like, set it off really the, the desire to get back in to the game. We know that we've got that and it, all it takes is for one player to set it off and the whole team are behind them. So yeah, we knew it was possible and everyone was buzzing for MJ as well, who deserved this goal and he's been waiting a long time for it but we can't get too caught up on yeah we beat Cambridge because we've got Accrington and, and they can win the league this week so we've got to stop that. And you mentioned Accrington there it's going to be a, a tough match what are your thoughts on them? Um, well they must be doing something right because they're top of the league but I mean if you beat any team in this league you'll feel like you can do it again and we played them and we done well against them last time we played so we'll be going in just as confident as they are because we want to upset their party as well. How much of a boost would it be to go and get a result up there? Massive, massive because we don't really want to be relying on other teams to slip up. We just All we can do is apply the pressure and say we do win is the teams in front of us like Wickham, they're going to be looking back and I know they were because they tweeted about it the other day. but. Um, yeah, they'll be looking back and all we can do is focus on ourselves, try and attack every game the same way we have done. And yeah, I mean, come the end of the season, we'll see where we are and wherever it is, it is. It's just a case of keeping calm, taking each game as it comes, focus on one game and the next game. Yeah, and I think the boys have done well with that. I think, I think it's probably done us a favour being in fourth because it's not, we're not losing anything, we're just chasing after people and we've done quite well and they've got they're in a position at the moment where if they let it slip, they're going to be there. So, yeah, I mean, hopefully, hopefully we can just continue to approach each game as we have done. We don't want to do anything too, too new. We don't want to change anything too much. We believe in the system and hopefully it works on the Saturday and for the remainder of the games. Finally, how important can the supporters be to the team going into the, the last few games? Massive. I mean, the supporters can be massive for any side and our home form has been one thing this season but it's no coincidence, you know what I mean? It's no coincidence and all I'd say to them is as much as you can support the boys for 90 minutes as you have done and continue to do so because sometimes it's coming to the stage of the season where some people get tired but that 12th man can help.